Dear well, welcome back to the maximum depth of binary tree lead code 104 problem number of problem. So here we have to find the maximum depth of a tree and then we have to return the maximum depth of the binary tree. So first I have to think that how we can calculate the maximum depth. The maximum depth that means we have to insert the elements the maximum depth and we have to find the number of. So what it tells a binary tree is maximum depth. Maximum depth is is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node that means the number of nodes so here is one two three so if there is three nodes one two three that means three is the maximum depth that we have to return in the answer that we have to return the output as three so this is our task so how we can get the maximum depth so it's very easy look what we have to do that first we have to calculate first we have to calculate the depth of this left tree this is the left tree and first we have to calculate the depth of this left tree and then we have to calculate the depth of this right tree depth of this right tree so if you find the depth of this left tree this is one notice there is one node so this is one and the depth of this right tree this right tree if we observe so this is one two so this is two and the depth this is also a node so we have to count that also and for that one so how we can get the depth from here we just if we just apply a maximum function that means if we just apply the math dot max function among this one this count the count of the left side count and the count of the right side count if we just apply a math dot max function and we add this element then we get the depth so like this if we just apply this function math dot max math dot max and now left count left count comma right count and this is this will return as the maximum count and if we just add one with this count for the root node this one is for the root node then we will get the maximum depth and that is what we have to do so let's understand it in more details that the element we have this is three the element we have that is three and 3 is having 9 in the left, 9 is having 20 in the right and then they are having 90, 15 and 7, it's having 15 and it's having 7, 15 and 7. So how, what we do, that we first start recursion, we apply here recursion. So first we, first we were here then we start traversing in that node. So when we come in the node 9. When we come in that section of node so we start a counting we start counting the maximum depth for this so we start counting this side first this side so we count here like this maximum depth so we count the maximum depth so this is we call this one root that is called the root that is called the root so we first here start counting the maximum depth of root that means from here we call the function maximum depth of root maximum depth of root and right now we are in the left side so we call it root dot left now we again call this recursion function here what it happens now it again it applies the formula so we for this formula to be applied we need the maximum count of from here so again we apply the formula here maximum depth maximum depth of root root dot left and then this is the root then left and then this is left side we count the left side count then for this side we need the count from that side also then maximum depth maximum depth of count of root root dot left and dot right because we are in the right portion so when we count there what it encounters it has null value null value so this one son for this current node what we get from here we get the this for nine this value this node we get the maximum dot of root dot left that is equals to this one equals to maximum depth of this one and this one so that will be maximum maximum of the depth from zero comma zero and for this root node we add one so we'll be adding one and we get here one so one is substituted here one is substituted here that means the value the depth we get for this left function that is one so now we calculate for the 20 
phone so now we come in the right side and we calculate here maximum depth we call the function recursively maximum depth of root dot right okay so we call the root dot right so after we have called the root dot right again it recursively calls here because we need the value from the downside so again we call here maximum depth maximum depth of root dot right dot left because now we are in the left side so left and again we call here maximum depth of root this is the root right and then right this is also right side so root dot right in the right side dot right again in the right side dot right so this is the maximum depth and to get this maximum depth to get that maximum depth we have to again go again we have to call the recursion until we actually get a null so we again call the functions from here so again we call from here maximum depth maximum depth of root dot right dot left dot left because this is left side and similarly we call here maximum depth of root dot right dot left dot right and now just guess what's the, what, what is the value of here here just only null value is present null so we get the value null null that is zero we get zero from here because there is nothing so the depth of this becomes one this is for current node plus math dot max that is maximum of left and right that is zero comma zero so from here it returns one this returns one it returns one again in the above function and what is seven returns in the similar way there is nothing in the left side of this and this so this seven also returns this seven also returns one because there is nothing so it also applies the same formula it returns one now it comes here in here so it calculates like this root dot right that is equals to maximum of both sides so from here we get the maximum value one and from this side we get the maximum value one so one plus one so we get here two this is that we get here two so now we calculate for the root and for the root it becomes like this root now root is math dot max of uh, left side and right side that is left count left count is the count of this left side and right count right count is the count of right side this side and with that what we add we just add one this one is for this root node 3 so from here we get the maximum value 1 plus maximum value from left side we got it 1 so this is 1 and from right side we got the maximum value to be 2 this is the maximum value 2 so we substitute 2 so from here we get 1 plus 2 because we take the maximum value from here max value so we get the answer to be 3 so this is how the entire recursion works that is the strategy how the entire recursion works so okay we will be understanding the entire recursion in the code so let's write the code of it okay let me let me open the window okay so now we'll be writing the coding section so as you can see the tree so first we have to construct this tree so we have constructed the tree here and now we'll be writing the function so first what we do first we always check the null condition that if root if the root encounters equals to null if root equals to equals to null so we simply return zero we simply return zero and this is why at the end it counted always as zero now we call the function the left depth and the right depth recursively so it is a left depth into the left depth equals to maximum depth the same function is called and we call root dot left the left side and then integer right depth right depth that is equals to maximum depth root 
dot write and then we again return return math dot max left dev plus right dev we return the maximum among the left dev and the right dev and we add one with each for the root node to process and if you just continue the three lines of code it will automatically return us answer so let's try by running it it is telling us that we have a compiled error so let's see why return one plus math dot maximum comma left depth plus the right depth let's again see R I G S T. Oh, sorry. Here we have to write small r. That why there that was the problem. Euro confined symbol. So okay, that got accepted. So next we'll be meeting on our next video.